A court has heard how the parents of prolific paedophile Richard Huckle begged police to take him away after he told them that he had abused several young children. The 30-year-old faces multiple life sentences after he admitted 71 child sex offences, including the rape of a six-month-old baby. Our crime correspondent, Martin Brunt, reports. When he flew into Gatwick for a Christmas family reunion, Richard Huckle was in for a number of shocks. He was arrested after a tip-off, and on his computers, cameras and phones, investigators found thousands of indecent images of children. He refused to answer questions and was bailed. He was told he must stay at the family home in Ashford, Kent, while the investigation continued. His parents, Stephen and Christine, who had until then been so proud of their younger son, knew little about his arrest, but they were growing suspicious. Prosecutor Brian O'Neill told the court the following day his mother questioned him about the allegations and he admitted to her that he had had sexual activity with children aged 3 to 13. His mother was extremely upset and angry. She and his father called the police and asked them to take their son away, making it clear they did not want him under their roof. Both have made witness statements in support of this prosecution. Huckle had passed a short teaching course at the British Council offices in the Malaysian capital Kuala Lumpur. He used it to move into a poor community in the city and got access to children he abused systematically over many years. It was a campaign of rape, said the prosecutor, not simply against the children, but against the whole community. He was trusted by the parents to take these children out for treats on their birthdays, to assist them with lessons and homework, to take them to church. He was trusted to take children out of care homes where they'd been placed. And he gained their trust by the way that he had ingratiated himself into this very poor community in a shantytown. Huckle initially told investigators they must prove all the 91 charges against him, but he eventually confessed to 71. A third of them carry a maximum life sentence. The judge and lawyer spent most of the day viewing the harrowing videos that Huckle had made of himself abusing his victims, images he shared with others on encrypted websites. He boasted to fellow paedophiles, impoverished kids are much easier to seduce than middle-class Western kids. According to a psychiatric report, Huckle said that he hoped one day to be freed from prison and marry a South Asian woman. Together, they would adopt children and she would allow him to abuse them. A police liaison secretary from the Malaysian High Commission was refused access to court. Her government says it's still been told nothing about Huckle and his crimes. Huckle's sentence is now likely to be delayed until next week. Martin Brunt, Sky News, at the Old Bailey. Still ahead on Sky News this evening.